So to quantify the change in color that we see in caramelization or any food or any image, we can use a program called ImageJ. You can download this online, just Google it, and you can download it for free, and then you'll just upload your picture. Now from here, the first thing we're going to do is convert this to grayscale so we can measure the color or brightness value of each sample. So to do this, we'll go to image, to type, and then 8-bit. And now our image is in grayscale. The next thing we're going to do is find the color values for each caramel sample and record the values in a table. So we would do a table in like a document or write it down elsewhere. We're going to show you how to actually get the values in image J. So to get value, you want to make sure that you have this magnifying glass icon already clicked on. And if you're having any issues, you can click on this red toolbar and click startup macros and this should pop up. From here, whenever I hover my cursor over any part of the image, I'll see a value sign here. So we can see that this area is 196, this area is 235, we have 114, 86, 67, 50, 23, so on and so forth. So these are the values that we're collecting. Now you can look at our blurb to further understand this, but an 8-bit grayscale is measuring the brightness of pixels as values between 0, which is pure black, to 255, which is pure white. So the higher the number, the whiter it will be. Now when collecting values from a sample, I could do it from here, but this is pretty far away, so I want to zoom in and I can either do Command plus or go up here to image and zoom and click that. Then to move along the image, I'll click this hand and can move it along. Now it's best practice to not just get one sample because these are not homogenous, they're not necessarily the same. So we're gonna get three values and average them. So for example, on this sample, the first value would be 249. And maybe I go over here, 248, and then here at 235. And I would get the average of those three values, and that would be my value for this sample. From here, once you get all of your values, you can graph that and see quite clearly that there is a noticeable, quantifiable change in brightness and in color of caramelized sugar. We hope this video is helpful. Let us know if you have any questions.